You know it's bad when Zeppi can't stand the smell. Eliminate that odor in the sports bag with Odor Destroyer from Zepp Factory Outlet. Eliminates the odor biologically. What's your favorite part of living in Prince Albert? like being kind of at the gateway to everything the North has to offer without having to wrestle with all the isolation that the uh, North tends to have. Uh, it's, it's nice to be just a, a short drive away from, from Waska Sioux, from the Lakelands, from Candle Lake, from being able to uh, just go out and uh, really enjoy everything the North has to offer and then still be able to come back to a city with a Walmart and Wi-Fi mm -hmm. and uh, heating, mm -hmm. which is, uh, to me, it seems, uh, as far as Prince Albert goes, uh, the biggest strength it has is location, 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 mm -hmm. for sure. Um, do you have any funny campaign stories yet so far? Kind of the, the most heartwarming or the, mo the funniest thing that's happened so far has kind of been the response from my uh, uh, friends and family. Uh, who were kind of uh, shocked that I was actually getting involved and uh, inevitably have to answer uh, the first question that comes up whenever I say I'm running with the Green Party. The, uh, oh wow, PA has a Green Party? <laughs> and the answer is yes. <laughs> and also they're awesome. Yeah. What's one thing that you should think people should know about you? Well, I think the... I think if there's... If there were, oh man, just one. One is difficult. <laughs> but uh, my biggest strength, I feel, uh, in coming into this is being able to engage the political process with a complete new set of eyes. For the vast majority of my friends and family and the people I talk to, unless they're complete politics junkies, they they don't really want to get involved because politics is almost a culture in Canada. Um, in your opinion, what is the most important topic this campaign? I think in uh, Canada today, uh, young people are not necessarily um, hit with voter apathy. There tends to be all of this talk every election about why do young people not vote? And the numbers are there. Over 50% in a major in a Democracy where majority rules, the majority of voters under 30 decided not to vote. That's an abstention. That's not just, eh, I can't be bothered. That's, I see the political process as it is now, and it's not for me. As a Canadian saying, how we elect our leaders is not for me, is a huge condemnation. And so that issue to me is, like, that's what got me into politics in the first place, was the idea that more than half of my peers can't be engaged by this process. So what is wrong with this process that we can't reach half, over half, of that block? I really think student debt is something that should be addressed. I really think um, first-time home ownership is something that should be really addressed. I really think it's... There's a lot of issues in Canada, uh, C-51, uh, online privacy. Um, there are so many issues that just, they're non-issues because they're a big deal to younger voters, and younger voters don't vote. What would you say is your biggest success up until now? Oh man, biggest success. Well, uh, my brother and I have a paving company where we use upcycled tire rubber from the... Uh, literally from the landfill, we're rescuing what would otherwise be a biohazard and turning it into a perfectly uh, engineered product for this area. Uh, it's uh, topping for uh, driveways and sidewalks, it's salt proof, it's weatherproof. I would say, in retrospect, um, my biggest accomplishment thus far has been being able to get a company off the ground, get it running, get it sustainable, and let it have a positive impact in my town. Mm -hmm. So yeah. Okay. I think that pretty much wraps it up. Awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you. This was fun. <laughs>